is our object. Unfortunately, it's wet, so I won't get the perfect reading, but it was actually 50 yesterday when it's dry, so it's actually 50, but that lets you know basically. Now, this device right here is known as a displacement tank. Uh, let me go ahead and lift it up so you can see it. It has a hole there so that any water that comes out, you can watch it come out and collect it. Okay, so let me just make sure that it's filled to the top. To do that, I just make sure that it has extra water in it, and then you can see that that extra water will flow outwards. Okay, and once all that water has come out, then we will know that it's right at that, at that uh, hole and anything that I put in it will kick out water and I can know how much water the thing that I, the, okay, when I put something in there, it will displace water and that water will come out. I can collect the water here and we'll know how much water came out, okay? Now, first of all, if I take this device here and I just put it in, okay, slowly, drip, drip, drip. Okay, and it displaced roughly, um, where's the, uh, there it is, less than 20, less than 20 milliliters, it's like, oh, where's the, it's over there, so like 17 milliliters, something like that, 18 milliliters. Just by the way, hopefully you remember that uh, one milliliter of water weighs one gram, okay? So now, I'm going to move this over here a little bit so we can see the, this side a little bit better. Now, let me go ahead and do this again. I'm gonna pull that out. Okay, but this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of air into it. So let me go ahead and do that off camera to speed things up. All right, so now I have a little bit of air in it. I've got the water uh, finishing up here, drip, drip. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in. We'll see how much it displaces. There we go. And if we look, it displaced just about, can you see that? I displaced just about 50 grams of water. Now it's not perfect, but remembering that, and you can see a few drips kicking out over there still, um, I think. Remember, remembering that one milliliter of water displace one milliliter of water weighs, uh, sorry, has a mass of one gram. So we had a 50 gram object that in order to float needed to displace 50 grams of water or 50 milliliters of water, which is exactly Archimedes principle. In order for an object to float, it must displace its own mass of the fluid. Now, if I give it even more air, and we'll get that set up again to where it sets high. Let's we put air in here to where it sets high now. All right. Good sound there with the pennies moving. Kind of a weird sound. Okay. And now, let's see what happens now. I think I got all the water. Still going. Good enough. And if we look, there's our 50 grams. Now, why it's not? It yesterday it was it was over 50 grams at this point. So that's a little bit odd. That actually surprises me. But anyway, that's proving our proving that it has to uh, it has to kick out. 50 grams of water to hold up a 50 gram object, okay?